All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and actually perform an OBD2 scan test with my Tracer Plus inspection form. Now I had fully configured this using Tracer Plus desktop, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and perform the inspection. So the only thing you'll need to keep in mind here is that you want one of these Bluetooth OBD2 scan tools. Really any should work, uh, as long as you can pair it up with one of your Android devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and perform the test here so you can take a look. Uh, I'm gonna come over to this vehicle here and locate the OBD2 scan port, which is generally down underneath the dashboard someplace. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the tool in. Um, once that powers up, it's gonna go ahead and connect to the application. Now you can see I have my read scan tool, scan tool button on the form, which I had configured in Tracer Plus desktop. So all I'm gonna really have to do is go ahead and click that button there to actually perform the test. So to start this, I'm gonna power, I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna go ahead and let that come on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press the read scan tool button here. Now this will go ahead and communicate with the scan tool. You'll notice some, there's some activity that may be different based on the type of OBD2 uh, scan tool that you have. But once that's complete, it'll come back to Tracer Plus. And if I hit the next button here, based on your settings, you'll see all of the values pre-filled out from that OBD2 scan tool. So you can see any problems with the car or anything like that. So that's an example of how you use the uh, OBD2 scan tool with Tracer Plus. Uh, at this point, you could go ahead and take it and um, put the uh, data, save the data to the Tracer Plus database and sync it over using Tracer Plus Connect to any uh, data source you'd like, Excel, Access, or anything like that. So uh, thanks for taking a look at the uh, OBD2 scan demo.